Good day everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with your Friday edition of iPad Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to take a look at how to transfer PDF files, especially large ones like books or booklets, pamphlets that are available to us on the internet and how to take them from any computer and put it on your iPad fast and easy. Now, I use Evernote a lot, but I also use Dropbox, and I use them for different applications. And I use Dropbox a lot for transferring files, especially large files, from any computer to my iPad. Now what you're going to need to do is to get started is to go to Dropbox.com. When you're there, set up an account. It's all free. And what you are doing is you are making an in the clouds account so that they are storing this information for you, these PDFs online for you somewhere out in the clouds so that you can retrieve them from wherever you happen to be. Then you're going to want to download their free software onto your PC. And then once you're done with that, go grab your iPad, go to the Apple App Store, and type in Dropbox in the search engine. Now, you're going to see that it's going to come up in iPhone apps. That's okay. It works on your iPad. So what you're going to want to do is just tap on that and you're going to let it install on your iPad. And what you're going to end up with is this icon here. Okay? So when you're on your PC, go to your account at Dropbox.com, upload your PDF into your cloud reservoir, and then hop over to Dropbox on your iPad. And once you have uploaded that information into your account online, it is going to tell you exactly what you have in your Dropbox. So I want to take, and I want to take this particular PDF file, and I want to send it to iBooks because it's just nicer and easier to read it on iBooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap in the upper right hand corner, and it's going to ask me what I would like to open it with. Now, it's going to depend on what apps you have installed on your iPad as to what it's going to ask you you want to open with because you might have some that I don't and vice versa. It, in my case, I can put it in Notarize, SmartNote, Office 2HD, or iBooks. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say open it in iBooks and when it, I tell it to do that, it's going to download it right into iBooks. As you can see in the library, in the PDF library, it's going to sit right there on the shelf. If you, at any time you can come back and you can retrieve it and, uh, you know, until you've deleted it, if you want to delete it at a later time. And when you touch on it, it is going to bring it up for you. It, and you'll notice it, it saved it to where I have been reading it. And you can navigate through it just like you can anything else in iBooks you can make it nice and large so when you're doing it late at night and you've had a long day you don't have to grab those reading glasses it'll do anything that any other iBook application will um, pamphlet will do for you so there you have it a very simple and easy way to transfer your PDF files from your computer to your iPad this is Maggie B for apps for iPads see you on the website soon and talk to you tomorrow